bismillah rahman rahim uh, in this uh, session we will discuss uh, question number 6 uh, of uh, motions topic motion for o level and igcsc students uh, from holders education Uh, question number six uh, here we have the approximate speed time graph for a car on a five hour journey is shown in figure 1.214 uh, there is a quick driver change midway to prevent driving fatigue uh, state in which the region in which of the regions OA AB BC C, D and D, the car is accelerating, decelerating, traveling with a constant speed. So this is the graph and in a B part calculate the value of the acceleration, deceleration or constant speed in each region. Uh, calculate the distance traveled over each region. Calculate the total distance traveled. Calculate the average speed for the whole journey. So, we have to answer the first question, accelerating, decelerating or traveling with a constant speed. So, here the speed is constant. Here the speed is increasing. Speed is increasing for 20 to 80 meters, uh, kilometers per hour. From 0 to 80 kilometers per hour. The speed is increasing in this region from O to A. So, O to A the speed is increasing means accelerating from a to b the speed is constant 80 kilometers per hour the speed is constant from b to c the speed is increasing from 100 kilometers from 80 kilometers per hour to 100 kilometers per hour from b to c the, the, it is accelerating from c to d the speed is constant at highest speed it is operating at constant 100 km per hour from C to D. So, C to D is traveling at a constant speed of 100 km per hour. From D to E, the speed is decreasing. From 100 to rest, 0 speed at E. So, this is speed is decreasing. So, it is decelerating. Now, question number Part B, calculate the value of the acceleration, deceleration or constant speed in each region. So, in region OA, the acceleration is, acceleration in OA region is 80 km per hour minus 0 km per hour, 1 hour minus 0 hours. So, this is 80 km per hour divided by 1 hour. So, it is 80 km divided by 80 km per 1 hour so 80 kilometers hour square so 80 kilometers hour minus 2 so in first 1 hour the speed has reached 80 kilometers per hour so in 1 hour the speed has reached this so the acceleration is 80 kilometer per hour square from O to A and acceleration from B to C, from B to C acceleration is in increasing from 3 to 3.5 hours. So, three, so this is the duration is only half hours, 3 to 3.5 and the speed increases from 80 to 100. So, 100 minus 80 divided by this. So, this is 100 kilometer minus 80 kilometers, 3.5 hours to 3 hours. So, this is 80 kilometers per hour this is 0.5 hours so the acceleration is 40 kilometers per hour from 3 hours to 3.5 hours this this acceleration is for this duration for 3 hours to 3.5 hours constant speed is, is speed is in the region of c to d c to d is a constant speed region and a to b is a constant speed region a to b is a constant speed region and c to d is a constant speed region. A to B is also a constant speed region. That, that is 100 km per hour. And from uh, A to B, it is 80 km per hour. This is a constant speed region. 
and from D to E from D to E acceleration is 0 to 100 kilometers per hour because the speed is decreasing the final speed is 0 kilometer per hour while the initial speed was 100 km per hour for this region from D to E. For this region, the initial speed was this and the final speed was this. So that's why it is writing down as 0 to minus 100 km divided by 0.5 hours from 4. Point, uh, this is 4.5 to 5 hours. So this is half an hour. So for this half an hour, so this is 0.5 hours. So this is uh, 200 kilometers per hour. So this is very, uh, this uh, decelerating is very, very, uh, speed is decreasing with very high fast rate. So it's uh, 200 kilometers per hour. Reducing speed. And uh, in a part C, we have to find the distance traveled in each region. So in each region from 0 to A, in this region the distance travel and from this to this region we have to distance travel from D, B to C region, this region we have to find the distance travel and from uh, this region from here to here this distance travel and from this to this we have to find the distance. So, the distance traveled in each region, the distance traveled in OA region is 1 over half and this is because this is a triangle. Uh, in a triangle area is half 80 kilometers into 1 hour. So, so the height is this is height and this is base. So base is 1 and height is 80. So this is half 80 kilometers and 1 hour. So this is 1 hour. So we have obtained 40 kilometers. The car traveled 40 kilometers in OA region and distance traveled in AB region from here to here in this region uh, it travels for 2 hours and the height is 80 so 80 multiplied by 2 this is square so 2 multiplied by 80 is gives you the distance traveled that is uh, 160 kilometer 80 multiplied by 2 is 160 kilometer and distress travel in uh, in BC region, in this BC region, this. So we have this height and this height. So we can average out. This is a trapezium shape. From here to here, we can see this. This line and this line is parallel. So we can take the average value with this height with this height average, and this uh, is half hour. So, we can take the area as this. So, 80 plus 100 divided by 2 is gives you the average speed multiplied by five, uh, 0.5 hours. So, this is 90 kilometer and 0.5. So, 45 kilometers is traveled in BC region. And distance traveled in CD region, CD region, in CD region, this is 4.5 this is 3.5 so 1 hour traveling with 100 kilometer so 1 hour 100 kilometer per hour means 100 meet kilometers in the CD region it travels 100 kilometers and CD region 100 kilometers per hour for 1 hour so it's 100 kilometer so the distance traveled in the E region so in this region when the speed is decreasing uh, here we have the height is uh, 100 and here we have half hour in half hour so this is again a triangle area so 100 kilometer per hour and oh sorry uh, this one one half 100 plus 0 so this is 100 and this is 0.5 hours so this is 25 kilometer so, for this DE region, it traveled uh, only 25 kilometers. So, all the distances add up to give the total distance it traveled. So, the distance traveled 
is 40 kilometer plus 160 kilometer plus 45 kilometer 100 kilometer and then finally 25 kilometers so the overall distance traveled in this uh, speed time characters uh, graph is given as 370 kilometer total distance traveled in that graph is 370 kilometer the average speed for the whole journey is the total distance traveled is 370 kilometers and the time taken is 5 hours so the average speed is 74 kilometers per hour uh, car is at rest at point o and point e at point o and at point e here initially the car is at zero speed and at point e where the car has reached a zero speed in rest position Calculate the average speed of the whole journey and finally the car reaches a zero speed at this point. The car is at rest at point O. Uh, now the last question, the distance, uh, question number 7, the distance time graph for a motorcyclist riding of, uh, from rest is shown in figure 1.215. Uh, this is the distance in meters and this is the time in seconds this is uh, the slope of speed and uh, we can see describe the motion uh, the graph shows that motion with a constant uniform speed because it traveled uh, 10 uh, 200 meters in 10 second and 20 meters in 400 meters in 20 seconds 400 meters in 20 second and 200 meters in 10 second means uh, 20 meters per second is the average speed so it's, it's uh, the motion is uniform motion calculate how far the bike moves in 30 seconds in 30 seconds the car has moved to a 600 meters 600 meters and uh, finally the calculate the speed the speed is 600 meters divided by 30 is uh, 20 meters per second so the speed is uniform everywhere uh, question number eight uh, a ball is dropped from rest from the top of a high building ignore air instance and take uh, g is equal to 9.8 meters per second calculate the speed of the ball after one second after one second the ball speed will be 19 point uh, no after one second it will be 9.8 not 19 after two second it will be after two second so this is uh, one second is it's 9.8 wrong and after two second this is for two second and speed of ball after three seconds will be uh, this so this is wrong make it correct by multiplying two after two seconds it will be 19 points if it is two then this is after one second it will be 9.8 so distance traveled after one second is equal to ut half g uh, is 9.8 and the t is 1 so this is 4.9 meters and at t sec 3 seconds after 3 seconds the dis distance traveled is this one this 3 square is 44.1 meters so that's all from uh, this uh, uh, section 1.2 motions uh, in the uh, next next session we will discuss section 1.3